I'm about to share with you seven Google Ads cheat codes that work really well right now. These are the same cheat codes I've been using to scale multiple e-commerce brands within the past two years alone to over $25 million in revenue now. But with that, let's start off with the first cheat code. This is the spying on your competitors cheat code. So for example, we have searched up the keyword custom stickers. And what I want to do is I want to spy on, let's say this brand right here which is one of the bigger folks within this industry what we want to do in order to activate this hack is essentially want to hover over the stickermule.com or the url which you see right here and on the right hand side click the three dots when you click the three dots this little box opens up at the top we see more information about this advertiser what their name of their company is which may not necessarily be the most big groundbreaking thing in the world however if you click see more ads right here well now it's going to take you to this transparency center where you actually get to see all of the ads they currently have running and this is more towards the search campaigns display discovery even the youtube creatives you don't necessarily get to see the shopping listings they have going on this is an extremely big thing because now you know exactly what kind of ad copy your competitors are running with what's working the best for them if there's a lot of dynamic search campaigns when it tells you something like this right here or whether it's a lot of display and discovery campaigns and if it, if it is display and discovery what creatives are working the best this is some of the most valuable information which you can't even find paying for it and within this you get to also see why you're seeing this ad so another piece of information which is sort of like a cheat code that you get is how do you rank in the front what google looks at in order to determine ranking this is a super useful cheat code you should absolutely be using right now to scale your brand but this brings us directly to cheat code number Number two which is the brands list section now in order to understand what the brand list section is we need to go to tools and settings and under shared library we need to go down to the fourth option which says brand list the way it works is fairly simple it even tells you how it works but essentially this brand list section lets you choose whether your ads show on searches that mention a specific brand so essentially if you want to create a brand list you just come in here you click that button you give this a little name it could be whatever you want it to be and then you just start typing all of the brands which your campaign should not be ranking for it could be anywhere from the biggest brands in the world like amazon or it could be something very small maybe one of your own competitors however if it, you go super small or if it's a competitor which is not available as a real brand on google you can get that added by clicking request a brand right here and they will add your brand in what you want to now there's a wide variety of different brands you could target from apple to nba to anything in between that you could think of and you don't need to be wasting money or wasting time excluding each of these brands from the keyword section you can do it all at once at the same time this is literally gonna save you thousands and thousands of dollars so just for that drop a like down below but this brings me to the third cheat code on the list which is the google ads rules section and to illustrate this a bit further i'm going to go into one of the ad accounts which we're not working with yet this is one of the clients that will be working with us very soon under my google ads agency your marketing but from tools and settings and we want to go down to the bulk action section and what we want to do is under bulk actions we want to choose the second option which says rules when we click on rules within this e-commerce brand we will see that there's already a bunch of rules applied here and i don't think that you should be applying this many rules or this level of rules because if you're letting artificial intelligence do too much of the rule setting more often than not it's going to make way too many changes or it's going to make a wrong change which will uh -huh. negatively impact your campaigns if we look at some of the rules going on here there's things such as turn off free gift friday turn on free gift and these are all things which just are designed to again make things a bit easier for you so for example this rule the main job here is to enable ads with a label which contains a free gift friday if that's one of the labels for that campaign it's automatically going to turn that campaign on and i personally believe it's very helpful because that's going to let you make a lot of these decisions very quickly and let you capitalize on earning the most during q4 but this brings me to the fourth cheat code on the list which is directly related to the measurement section now if we go on over to tools and settings one more time and under measurement we go to attribution we can see this hack this cheat code 
in effect. So what you want to do from the attribution section is you want to go down to the model comparison section. This is literally a cheat code because now you get to monitor between different models that are running and available within Google ads, such as last click data driven, etc. Now it's only two different models, which are these ones. And you get to understand which one your brand responds to the best. If the first one last click, according to last click, this account got 395 sales. According to data driven, this got 375 sales. This one 297, according to data driven 309, etc. This is super crucial because at the end of the day, you want to be only working with those conversion attribution models, which are the most relevant and which actually are accurate. And what I like to do with this section is I like to just compare these numbers to my Shopify backend or to my Google Analytics backend and really understand which attribution model works the best. And I can jump between one or the other accordingly. Moving on to the fifth cheat code on the list. This is the catch all campaign. Now, if we look here on my screen, we can see this first campaign. It's a catch all campaign running at a 4.74 X ROAS has generated over a hundred thousand dollars in the last 30 days alone. If we go inside and go on over to settings, first things first, which a catch all campaign you want to understand that this campaign is not designed to be your best selling campaign. It's designed to just sit in the background and sort of like a fishing net, wait for the fish to come to that net before that fishing net just grasps around them. That's exactly what this catch all campaign is. And it's going to get that done for you if you run it at a very high target ROAS. And as you can see, it's 500%. It's done on purpose to ensure we're getting only the highest quality traffic possible. Moving on now to the sixth cheat code on my list. And this is a worldwide brand search campaign. Now, the way that this cheat code works is you want to essentially have a brand search campaign going on, targeting not only the United States, targeting not only one of the other countries you might cater to, but rather the whole world, which is exactly what we have done here. Now, with a brand search campaign, if you are already generating demand via organic traffic or via Facebook ads to other parts of the world, other countries, well, now this brand search campaign will cater to that audience. It will get them coming back to your website to purchase. And as a result, you will get free data on your Google Ads account for those countries without spending a single dime extra. Moving on to the final cheat code on the list, which takes us not within the Google Ads account, but rather to the Google Merchant Center. And this is the quality store trust badge. Now, the important thing is that you need to absolutely get this enabled as soon as possible. And the reason why is because it offers three beneficial things. Number one, that gives you this beautiful blue colored trust badge, which 99% of your competitors don't have. So right off the bat, you stand out from them. But number two, you rank higher in Google shopping results. And when that happens, you are not spending more money to rank higher. You're just ranking for free, which I don't know about you, but I love free things. And this is basically one of the biggest benefits of having this top quality store badge. But third one, which is also very interesting, is that you get early access to Google's newest features. And again, these features might be good, might be bad, but you're the first ones to figure that out. This is a must have a cheat code you must have in 2023 and onwards. And it's fairly simple to get this enabled. All you have to do is just have these things right here from shipping experience. Shipping costs should be closer to zero dollars, but less than three dollars shipping time should be less than four days or delivery times. You should be accepting multiple pur purchase wallets like e-wallet, PayPal, etc. Your return experience should be very good. And finally, you should have seller rating set. But once you have those few things, the top quality store badge is something you can easily get. And from there is just scaling things to the next level. And by the way, these are all of the seven cheat codes we've been using to scale all the brands under my Google Ads agency or marketing, which if you're currently doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level. Go onto my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen. But check out this video right here on my newest performance max campaign strategies, which can help you take your brand to the next level.